Hello, what's good all my beautiful people on the internet? We're back with Gone Home. It's definitely a TV. Residents are strongly urged to stay Why are there like seven fucking living windows and doors? Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. Where's my fucking sprint button? So I'm assuming because there's no sprint button that there's nothing really like gonna chase after me. So it means we don't have a choice if something comes after us. I'm so glad. Girl Scout, better than the thing. Girl model. I'm home alone. What's that? Oh, Terra Truck, this. The accidental savior. Wait. <laughs> oh, wait, go back! <laughs> Dad wrestled those that potentially fly from the balance of a dual believer. Oh, is it about, is it about the guy who tried to stop it? Hey! Go to the side. You gotta go to the side A now. No, no, that's the same side. Oh, that's the same side. Okay, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways. No. Terry, hey, hey man. man. <laughs> How you fit? That's my handwriting. That's from the 70s. <laughs> oh, Jesus. February 3rd, 1978. I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi Fi Aficionado, Aficionado, has way too much review work to go around, and he's looking for an author. For another freelancer. <laughs> oh, words. Naturally, I thought of you. <laughs> you were saying in your, in your last letter how much of a pain it's been your trying. Cast yeah, it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work from literature and writing, stereo reviews. It's dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. Oh, that's why punk rock was on the thing. I've included some issues of the mag to use as examples here in the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, send me some samples to my editor. Tell him your college, real college chum. I did it delightful. <laughs> Thank Do you. Do it. <laughs> Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice and, and Robocop. Robocop. Fuck yeah. Blade, Blade Runner. Runner. Ooh, that's a director's cut. Mm -hmm. X Files, all the seasons. <laughs> Ghostbuster. Labyrinth was trippy. Have you seen that yeah, one? Had me Dude, I, I thought I took drugs. I, was <laughs> I literally thought that I had dropped acid on that thing. Rest in peace, David Bowie. Oh, I thought there was a thing under there. <laughs> I know, I thought that was a bottle. Well, that's foreshadowing. Oh. Find out the truth! Bye. My stories are familiar to you, but I pick it in. I would buy myself a check so fat it doesn't take off its shirt when it swims at the pool. <laughs> I write myself a check so fat it should have bought two fucking seats on the airplane. <laughs> well, time to roast. Myself. It's bright. Right, there's no B. Okay, I need to live. I don't know. Altis almonds? What? Sam thought this That's might help, Dad. Making friends? Wow, Dad, just slap me in the face, why don't you? Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. This is going to teach you to make, make friends, friends, even when you're shy. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> you know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them? and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. She's always drawing in this notebook. Oh, that's the, Looking that's so the intense. Girl. 
I had no idea how I would ever, like, Never have an excuse to talk to her. So you guys know. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Is she lesbian for the pink haired girl? I don't know, but I'm glad that every room we open so far is a fucking problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, what's this? The uh, heaven, heaven at, at the, the edge, edge of the world. world. By Samantha Greenbar. The Grade Turtle two. People, part one. Captain ah. Allegra. <laughs> Looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seems. Some days she was on the edge. She gets to the paradise. <laughs> she, then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! Boom! It was the black pirate. The black pirate ship. <laughs> Yelled. I thought we lost him at Horse Island. The first mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the black <laughs> ship. <laughs> he yelled to Captain Allegra, You're never going to find the edge. There ain't no paradise in your father, liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? I spelled that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she smelled like it wrong, too. <laughs> First mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see your father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. It's a fucking <laughs> riveting first part, god Dude, damn. I need to know the rest. I'm really interested in knowing That's our goal happens. in this game, to find out what happens to Captain Allegra and her first mate, who is not to be named. Do you like my pirate impression? <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking amazing. <laughs> the way your voice shakes really <laughs> accentuates the That's my smoker talk. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, right. it's got a bag. <laughs> Baby got back. Dude, cats always laid on those things. <laughs> I sat on those things. Oh god, you're on your own. <laughs> hey, are you there now, girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm the bird behind you. Wave if you get this right back. Here's the thing, kids. In the 90s, we threw notes to each other to get each other's attention. Our we teacher, didn't have texting. Our teacher used to yell at us for that. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. Yes, I'm new. What's up? Oh, I just <sighs> thought since you're new, maybe you could be use, you could use a friend, dude. I don't, I don't have, have a lot of friends. friends. <laughs> so I thought I will ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No. Okay, no, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just yeah? Your uncle your who uncle went, psycho? went psycho? Or does it run in the fa- Oh, so our uncle went psycho. Why, we all gotta be rude? why is he trying to be our friend and ask that? Why y'all gotta be rude? Maybe that's why the paper's all crumpled up. Why y'all gotta be rude? You ready to open it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> you better fucking find that light switch. <laughs> Why is the movement so slow? Is there an option to make this faster? Controls? Oh. <laughs> Throw it against the wall. What's on the, the, the billboard? Oh, what's that? There's so many questions. <laughs> okay, you gotta pick one. <laughs> a billboard. Back to basics. Send back in time to Dallas Nights of Street again. You can do better. What if JK wasn't JFK? Our dad was crazy. Early, early space flight utopia. The advanced technology and World War II early. Time stream too different. JFK President, US, USSR Coalition, Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Look at these! Paradox results, JFK death being desired outcome. Magic bullet theory? What's that? I feel, that sounds familiar. 
John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars twinkling as if he were lying in the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. Damn, I'm good! No, <laughs> no he blinked. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Six foot toenails scanning up his bare skin, bare knees. He was barely naked. He was completely naked. <laughs> he was barely <laughs> Fabric that strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom was <laughs> blazoned with the phrase matter transference operator when he passed out. This tunic. <laughs> She's in the tunic, dude. Don't question it. <laughs> oh, because it is a Texnic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wet myself. <laughs> <laughs> John wrestled across the gap, the gap in time. Only messages has passed before. But now I am a man, man. <laughs> they needed him now more than ever. Changing the past is no longer good enough. The instructions formed the council have been clear. What to procure, what to construct <laughs> from it, <laughs> how to assemble it. So he made the machine. This is the most least important part of how the to transport story. him. By across time and now he stood so because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could helm the naive crew of their destiny the fate of the galaxy <laughs>